Hey friends, welcome back to the Playhouse. Have you seen Mr. Matt anywhere? I cannot find him. Surprise! <laughs> Mr. Matt, what are you doing? Man, it's so fun to be here and do this whole roundup thing. Mm -hmm. You know what? There's some things we've been doing at this roundup. Hmm. <gasps> like a big idea. Yes, exactly. Okay. I'm going to ask a question, and I want you at home to answer. You I'll ready? play along with you guys. Who can trust God? I can trust God. Who can trust God? I can trust God. That was really good, guys. Well done. Yeah, well, it's not the only thing we've been doing here at the Roundup. I can think of one more thing. What? It's actually two. Two! Yep. But the one I was thinking of first was what God says to us. <gasps> it's in the book called the Bible, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Our memory verse, that's right. Mm -hmm. It goes like this. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5. That was really good. Do you think we could do it again? I bet our boy ranch hands can. Our boy ranch hands? Our boy all ranch hands. All right, boys. Hands. Boy Ranch Hands, this you is your turn. You follow me. Are you ready? Trust, Trust in, in the, the Lord, Lord with, with all, all your heart. What? This was the Boy Ranch Hands. Oh, so then the girls are going to get a turn? Right over. Right. Got to wait turns. We got to learn that. Mm -hmm. Wait your turn. At the roundup, you got to wait. Okay. okay. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5, and you. That was really good. Mm -hmm. You boys did really good, too. Good job, Now, boys. do you think that the girl ranch hands, all my cowgirl friends, could do it with me? Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Proverbs 3, 5. Not bad, not bad. Good job. Wow. Can we do it together? Let's do it together. All the people? All in this to together. All in this together. Okay. Well, trust, trust in, in the, the Lord, Lord with, with all your heart. heart. Proverbs, Proverbs 3, 5. Good job, guys. Mm -hmm. Hmm. What do we do next? There's three things. Mm -hmm. oh, the worship team. The worship team! We gotta call them out. Okay. Okay, let's call the worship team. All right. One, two, three. Oh, oh worship, worship team. team! We need everybody at home to hop up and get ready. Let's sing along together. You ready? Here we go. One, two, three. Come hit the trail with me. Let's get on down and round it up, cause we can trust in God. No matter what. Here we go now, three, two, one. It's time to have some fun. So sing along now, everyone.
You know, Mr. Matt, the reason I was looking for you earlier is because I wanted to see if it was time to check on with Northy and our friends at the ranch. Oh man, that's right. I love that part of the roundup. We should go check it out. Come join us as we go check out Northy at their ranch. <laughs> One, two, three, come hit the trail with me. Let's get on down and round it up, cause we can trust in God. I can trust in God with all my heart. I can trust in God. We can trust in God. Hey everybody! My name is Northy. Oh, and this is Trusty. And we want to welcome you to Wombolanth Online. And we are so excited because today we're hanging out here in the Rootin' Tootin' Roundup. Now, to get things started, I'm thinking we need to hear you say howdy because that is how you say hello in the Roundup. So, on the count of three, we want to hear your best howdy. Okay, let's try it. One, two, Three, howdy! Wow, you all sounded amazing! You know, I love the Rootin' Tootin' Roundup because we get to wear our cowboy boots, our bandana, oh, and my favorite, my cowboy hat. Yeah! Oh, sorry, <laughs> that was just my hat. You see, every time I put my hat on, it makes me say, yeah! <laughs> Okay, that is one of the many, many, many things I love about the Rootin' Tootin' Roundup. Well, today we've got an amazing Bible story just for you. We've also gotten some rockin' music. But first, I need your help with something. Trusty, I gotta set you down. Okay, so this morning I woke up and I saw that everything in the Roundup was all jumbled up. Like, like this thing was with that thing and that thing was with this thing and this thing that was supposed to be with that thing wasn't with that thing and it was with this thing and... Oh, it was all wrong. So, so I really would love your help. Can you help me put the Roundup back to how it's supposed to be? You can? Oh, perfect. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. There are gonna be some pictures up on the screen and it's your job to tell me which things belong in the Roundup and which things do not belong in the Roundup. All right, let's see what we've got. We've got a cowboy hat, some boots, and a soccer ball. Hmm, I think I know which thing doesn't belong. What do you think? A cowboy hat, some boots, or a soccer ball? Which doesn't belong in the Roundup? Oh, it's a soccer ball. All right, next up, we have a birthday cake, a tractor, and a pickup truck. Hmm, well, I don't think you can eat a tractor or a pickup truck, but you definitely can eat a birthday cake. What do you think doesn't belong in the Roundup? Oh, let's see if you're right. <gasps> oh, a birthday cake, that does not belong in the Roundup. All right, let's see another one. We've got a bird, a cat, and the sun. Hmm, well, I know for a fact that two of those things like to be in the sky, but have you ever seen a cat in the sky? Me neither. Does that belong in the Roundup? Let's see. No, a cat does not belong in the Roundup. All right, we have one last thing. We've got a horse, we've got a cow, and we've got a tall slide. Well, tall slides are very fun. Now, horses and cows are also very fun, but which doesn't belong in the Roundup? What'd you say? Did you say a tall slide? Okay, I think that too. Let's see if it belongs. Oh, you got it right. Yeah, a tall slide definitely does not belong in the Roundup. Well, look friends, everything is back to normal. Oh, I'm so happy. And thank you so much for your help. And now, you know, I don't think the fun should stop. It is time for an amazing Bible story and I cannot wait. So let me see your hands. Awesome, now let's round it up and round it down, lasso all the way around, give your hat a quiet tap, and put it right down in your lap. It looks like we're all ready. Hi, boys and girls. My name is Al, and I'm so excited to tell you about something amazing I just read in my favorite book. Oh, wait. 
Do you not know what my favorite book is? It's the Bible. The Bible is important because it helps us know how much God loves us. That's right. And today's Bible story is about a mega big job. I mean, it's a humongous job. This Bible story is just, well, I just got to tell you about it, okay? So here's the deal. There's a guy and his name was Samuel. Uh, can you say that with me? Let's say it on the count of three. You ready? One, two, three, Samuel. Oh, good job, guys. I knew you could do it. That's right. So Samuel had this big job, and here's how the Bible story goes. So God told Samuel, I need your help. I need your help helping me find the new king. Oh, what a big job. I mean, Samuel had to help God find the new king. Whoa, that's a mega big job. Big job. And I bet that if God told me that, I bet Samuel was a little scared. Yeah, uh, can I see your scared face? Oh, that's so good, that's so good. I think that's exactly how Samuel felt. That's right, he was probably a little scared, but Samuel knew that God said, I will help show you. And that's exactly what happened. Samuel knew that he could trust God. Samuel knew that God loved him so much that he would help him. And that's exactly what he did. So God said, go find this guy named Jesse. And Jesse has a lot of sons. And I'm not just talking about one son. I'm not just talking about two sons. I'm talking about Jesse had Eight sons! Whoa! That's a lot of kids, isn't it? I know. Can you count those with me? You ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sons! Whoa! That's a lot of kids. Well, Samuel said to Jesse, hey, I need you to bring your sons out so I can meet them because I'm trying to look for the who would be the next king. And Samuel thought, hey, maybe I can look at them and tell who would be the next king by looking at them on the outside. So Jesse had his sons come. Here comes the first two. Boop, 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 boop. Hello, hello, how are you? Good. And Samuel looked at these first two sons and they were so strong. Look at this guy's muscles. Hey. Can I see your muscles? Oh my goodness, you're strong too. Way to go. That's exactly what happened. Samuel saw these strong sons and said, oh, they're going to make great kings because they're so strong. And Samuel said, Jesse, can you bring some more sons? And sure enough, here comes two more sons. And he looked at these sons and Samuel said, whoa, they are so tall. I mean, can you get tall with me? Just come on, stretch really tall, stretch really tall, really tall. Ah, oh, that's so good. That's so good. And that's exactly what Samuel thought. Samuel thought, these sons would make great kings because they're so tall. And Jesse said, I've got more sons. And here comes two more guys. Boop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop -a -doop. Now they weren't tall or they weren't strong, but they looked at each other because you know what? These sons were very smart. They could do math like nobody's business. They were so smart. And then finally he brought another son and this son, he loved having fun. That's right, he was the fun. And Samuel thought, oh, this guy's gonna make a great king. So he's so fun. Hey, wait. Let's have some fun right now. Why don't we do that? You ready? One, two, three. Woo! Wasn't that awesome? That's right. Samuel thought this guy's going to make a great king because he's so much fun. But God said to Samuel, wait a second. Samuel, you're looking on the outside. You're looking for who might be the strongest or might be the tallest or might be the smartest or the most fun. But God said, Samuel, wait a second, look. I'm not looking on the outside. I'm looking on the inside because I'm looking for a son who loves me with his whole heart. He is who I want to be the next king. And Jesse had brought out seven sons to meet Samuel. Can you count them with me? You ready? One son, two son, three son, four sons, Five sons, six sons, seven sons. Whoa, that's a lot of sons. But you know what? 
Samuel knew that none of these guys were the right men to be the next king. And Samuel trusted God to help him make the right choice. Samuel said to Jesse, I thought you had eight sons. Remember we said that at the beginning, that Jesse had eight sons? He said, Jesse, where is your other son? And he goes, oh, you must not want him. He's my youngest son. And he's out in the fields taking care of the sheep. His name is David. And Samuel said, bring David to me. And that's exactly what happened. David came in from the fields. And as he was coming, God said to Samuel, that's the one. That's the one. I want that kid. You see, God chose David because he knew that David loved him with his whole heart and that David trusted him even though he wasn't the strongest, even though he wasn't the tallest or the smartest. God chose David to be his next king. And Samuel said, yep, that's it. So he told everybody, this is the one. David is the one that I want to be my next king. And that's exactly what happened. You see, guys, Samuel trusted God to help him. And that's exactly what happened. God helped him choose the right king. Samuel trusted God. You can trust God. And I can trust God. Now let's pray and we can thank God together that we can trust him. You ready? All right, let's do a big clap. Close your eyes. Dear God, thank you for loving us so much and for helping us when we are scared or have hard things to do. God, we know you care about us and that we can trust you to help. We love you, God. Amen. Wow, that was a mega big Bible story today. I mean, Samuel trusted God to help him find the new king, and that's exactly what happened. And you know what? You can trust God. I can trust God all week long to help us. Thanks so much for coming by today. I had so much fun with you, with the fun. Yay! Thanks so much. See you next week, guys. Bye. Man, what a fantastic story about Samuel. I bet it was really hard to trust God with the choices he had to make on who was going to be the next king. Yeah, I'm going to remember that. How Samuel trusted God no matter what. Yeah, uh, I can trust God. Who can trust God? I can trust God. So just like Samuel trusted God, you and I can trust God. And you can trust God, too. So, you know what that means. <gasps> I think it's time. It's time to round them on up and move them out. We'll see you next week here at the Playhouse. Friends, he's a good, good friend. He's a good